Coach Eileen, how do I avoid coming across as desperate? Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is your relationship coach Eileen Santos and I'd like to welcome you wherever you are, whether you're watching the live or the replay or wherever you are, what time zone you're in, whatever it is that you're experiencing right now. Thank you so much for joining me here. And tonight I'm going to talk about, because it's nighttime right here, tonight I'm going to answer this question. Coach Eileen, how do I avoid coming across as desperate? So for those who are new here, again, welcome. I am relationship coach Eileen Santos, and it's my mission to help singles learn love facts versus love fiction so you can enjoy more awesome relationships in real life. And this is something that I am trying out to reach more people and help more people. These are our Saturday love lessons. So throughout the week, I get a lot of questions in my inbox, you know, questions about their relationships, questions about love and dating. And I, since I can't make everyone my coachee, not everyone can work with me one-on-one -on -one because of time constraints and other factors, then this is where I answer the most common questions that I get throughout the week. So we're going to answer this question tonight. And if you have any friends or if you could relate to this question and this issue, so please do share this video with other people or type your comments or your questions in the comment section below so that we can address them while we are going on with our life. So backstory to this question, because of course, just like a lot of the questions that I get uh, through social media, a lot of people want to share the reason for their question. So this is the backstory. It's the pandemic and it's the new normal. So a lot of us thought that back in 2020, last year, uh, Everything was temporary. This COVID thing, this uh, pandemic thing was very temporary. We're going to go back to our regularly scheduled lives uh, in 2021. And guess what? It's 2021. First quarter is done. And we are still unsure and uncertain about what, when this is going to end, what's going to happen next, when our old normal will kick back in or if we are going to adjust to a real new new normal so people have been asking me since it, it for some people they d decided at the beginning of 2020 this is the year that i'm going to date this is the year that i'm going to meet people and then they say that coach Lee, the universe creates pandemic and i cannot socialize with anyone all right so the universe has nothing against you this is why i am so happy actually for this question because the backstory is this, uh, if you can relate, then I hope that you encourage each other because it may be the pandemic and it may be the new normal. But if it's your commitment as well to meet more people and to give relationships, having a personal relationship a chance, then you can still do it if you really want to. Love is not canceled just because of the pandemic. So this backstory for this question is, so this person is going to meet more people even though it's mostly online because that's the safest way to do it, you know, connect with more people. So the question was, how do I do it online without coming across as desperate? Okay, so uh, like I said, I if you can relate to a little bit of what we're talking about, please do uh, stay with us. And if you have people that you know who will benefit from this information, please share this video with them or tag them in the comments. Okay, and yes, please also post your aha moments or insights in the comment section because this is where you are able to identify and clarify what are the lessons that are applicable to you because I will be sharing with you very important three insights right now. But if something is more applicable to you than the other insights, then typing it in the comments is like making a commitment to making this insight real in your life and not just something that's nice to know. All right. So there are three important points in this episode about not coming across as desperate. One is your mindset. Second are your actions. And third are your expectations. All right. We're going to go through them one by one. And if you're taking notes, then that's great. But first, Whatever happens, if you're trying to meet more people and trying to connect with people so that you can have a relationship, and even in the midst of this pandemic, 
I acknowledge your courage. I acknowledge your commitment. I acknowledge you and your goal of being in a happy and satisfying relationship. Because here are tr important truths that anyone who's ever dated know. Meeting people is not easy, whether it's the pandemic or it's during regular times. I mean, right now, people are asking me, how do I meet more people despite this pandemic? But back in 2019 and so many years before that, people were asking, still asking me a very similar question, which is how do I meet more people? So it's the same thing, just a different situation. So meeting people is not easy and connecting is not easy. But when you're doing it because it's necessary, and when I say necessary, because you know in your life that having a close, intimate, romantic relationship is part of what's important to you, it's part of your goals, then it is necessary. You know, don't let anyone minimize your goals just because they don't involve your business or your career. Having amazing, satisfying, fulfilling relationships are a very important part of our lives and in fact for a lot of people people who uh, are old enough to know and to be wise to know they say that relationships are really you know the the real benchmark for success in life so i acknowledge your courage okay because fact is your ideal relationship is never going to be delivered you know you don't just go on an online shopping spree uh, pick the relationship that you want and then have it delivered to you. No, that's why meeting people, connecting with people, no matter how scary, they're really necessary because relationships are a journey. So they start with connecting. And I acknowledge the person who sent this question because that's what they're doing. They continue with nurturing and relationships last when there is shared evolving. So it's a lifelong thing. It's, it is a lifelong journey. And guess what? You don't have to have to adhere to a certain timeline that people, other people have set for you. So, or even you have set for yourself. So maybe you thought that, okay, by this age, I would be married. By this age, I would have kids. Don't limit yourself to a timeline. Don't think about things that are external to what's important to you. And what is important to you? You need to be in a relationship when you are ready not when you're lonely. You go into a relationship with someone who's worth it and not because that someone is the only one who's there, that someone is convenient. So all of these things that lead to a happy relationship are the things that we need to consider, not people's timelines, not what other people are doing, not what your friends are posting on social media. It's what's really important to you that is, that is the foundation for happy relationships for you as you define them. Okay, so you are making the first step now. You are connecting. And if you're doing that, you're already a rock star. So give yourself a pat on your shoulder, a pat on your back, because it's not easy, but you are doing it. Okay, so yeah, now that you're connecting, these are the questions that are coming to mind. How do you minimize rejection? How do you let them see the awesome side of you? And how do you avoid coming across as desperate? Let's go to our three points. Point number one your mindset, okay? Here's the thing about mindset. When connecting with people, you are just getting to know people, okay? When you are connecting with people, whether it's online or face-to-face -face or in person, remember you are just getting to know them. You are not making them audition for the role of your future partner. So what does auditioning people for the role of future partner mean? Okay, so you have this need to change your relationship status from single to in a relationship. That's, that's a sign. You are not concerned about meeting people and really getting to know them as who they are. Instead, you are interested in changing your relationship status. So that means that you have to modify your mindset. Another, uh, another sign that you need to modify your mindset is this. When you meet someone and you have this internal checklist in your head and you are still just getting to know them. You you don't know what their values are. You don't really know what their real personalities are. You haven't really gotten into deep conversation with them, but already you are judging them against this checklist in your head about whether or not they are a fit for the role of your future partner. So you don't put out your husband checklist or your girlfriend checklist while you're still getting to know people. You get to know people 
because you want to get to know people. So they might end up as romantic potentials, they might end up as friends, or they might end up as just people who pass by for a brief moment in time, but you had a very interesting conversation. That's completely fine. You still connected and that was the point you got to know someone and that was the point and that is the mindset for real connecting you connect and people will feel this right people people will know when you are actually interested in getting to know who they are compared to when you are ticking off a checkbox while you are interacting with them so this is your important mindset okay so now we go to point number two Second is your actions, okay? Your actions. What do you do when you say that you are connecting and you're getting to know people, okay? So here are the actions that, you, that we include, especially when it comes to connecting with people online. Where and how do you connect with them, okay? So here's a huge tip. When it's a stranger, you're trying to turn a stranger into a friend or a conversation buddy. You do not slide into their DMs first. Okay, you do not. Okay, you look at their public posts, their the things that they share, and then you comment on those. So it's like uh, the metaphor here is like you are at a party and you are getting to know people. You do not meet someone for the very first time and then pull them into one of the rooms in the house and then get to know them. That is that is not just desperate. That's creepy and that is not the proper progression of things, okay? That is going to make so many people uncomfortable. But if you're at a party, you meet someone for the first time, you get introduced, and then you talk in public, you know, maybe in his or her group or with your group, or maybe it's just the two of you, but there are a lot of people who are your common friends who are around you, then that is what it means. That is the, the equivalent of typing in a comment or reacting to something that they shared compared to, sliding into their dms for you know right away when you are just getting to know them so that is the where and the how the words that you choose okay so just be interested just be curious you don't have to impress them you don't have to um dazzle them with your super intellect you don't go into super deep conversations right away like you're just meeting this person and then you're already asking okay what do you think about kids what do you think about getting married and blah 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 all right. Unless, you know, you you uh, meet a fellow wedding planner and they they this is the ki kinds of conversations that you probably could have in terms of your industry. But you get what I'm saying. Right. The words that you choose, the topics that you talk about. Are you making this person comfortable? Are you coming across? Are you let, it's, it's communicating this message that you are just really interested in getting to know them or are the words and topics that you're choosing making them feel the sense that you want a relationship, you don't want to just get to know people for, because people are interesting and they're worth getting to know, okay? Remember, people do not appreciate being auditioned. They do not appreciate uh, you feigning interest just because you, you, know, you, you want to get to know people and then pass over them when you think that they didn't meet your checklist, your audition checklist. Okay, so the words and topics that you choose. And finally, how often do you connect with people? Okay, if you want to meet new people and people who might share your interests, it is a numbers game. All right. So if you just comment on one person at a time once a month, then that's not really going to spark conversations. Okay, so if, but if you're really interested in people, and you do spend time in social media, right? So you you go through your friends of friends and make sure they're really friends of friends, right? They, they Your friends really know them on a personal level, on a real world level. And then you realize that you have stuff in common from the things that they post. So make connections. Just And remember, you're not producing a relationship out of this. So just be friendly, just be curious. And again, it all goes back to our mindset, guys. Get to know people, be interested in people. And you are not producing the love of your life from these interactions. You are just getting to know people. Okay? So here's the insight. 
when you are really just curious about people and you're interested in getting to know them, you do not impose requirements on them. So you don't, uh, you don't require them to be to what respond to your comments right away or to like your comments right away or to even have a reaction to your comments at all. You do not think that, oh, they didn't put any reaction to my comment. It's a lost cause. You are just getting to know people, guys. So you do not impose requirements. I mean, imagine this. So this could help you with your mindset and to help you check your intentions. If you were just really doing this out of out of uh, being friendly, would you impose these certain requirements on this certain requirement on this person? Because a lot of times when we're interested in someone or when we find someone attractive, we have a whole set of different behaviors compared to when we were just when we're just interacting with people, you know, just just to be friendly. Here's a tip. Go with those actions that you would use for a friend, you know, for, for the situation where you just want to be friendly even when you have a level of attraction for someone, okay? Because that someone is also a human being, that someone would appreciate being treated as a human being, and that someone would appreciate it. And when people want to really get to know them and not just have these ideas about them, preconceived ideas about them, and, you know, audition them for the role of future partner, okay? Last but not least, the third point is, your expectation. So what do I mean by expectation? Uh, here's something uh, very relevant to expectations. I get this uh, question a lot. People ask me, Coach Eileen, does online dating work? Okay. And I have even discussed this in my Fall of Friday episodes on Facebook. But here's my real answer. Online dating works exactly like regular dating. Online dating, I'm going to repeat that because that's very important. Online dating works exactly like regular dating. So what does that mean? Okay. Just like with regular dating, you meet people and then you get to know them. And then from the, the all these people that you're getting to know, you recognize the ones who are worth investing in. You, you recognize those people who have a lot of things in common with you, these people who share values with you, these people who you can have really deep conversations with. When you meet these people, you start, you explore starting a relationship with them. That's how regular dating works. And that's how online dating works. Okay. Because for some people, they have this, they, they, they have this um, impossible expectation that online dating is like this uh, vending machine where you, you put in a coin and then out comes out your favorite chocolate or something. Okay. So this is the note. Okay, uh, you're lonely, so you want to be in a relationship to feel less lonely. You meet people online, and after three conversations that peter out, you think online dating does not work. So this is how you know that you have expectations about online dating or even dating in general that you will need to adjust in order to have a better chance of happier relationships. Okay, so... There you have it, those three points, your mindset, your actions, and your expectations. This is our answer to this question. Coach Eileen, how do I avoid coming across as desperate? Because here's the thing, but, you know, bottom line is this. You come across as desperate when you are. This is why we went into these three things. So ask yourself, what are your mindsets? What actions are you taking? And what are you expecting? Okay, so I hope you learned something from tonight, guys, from what, well, even if it's daytime for you when you're watching this, please post your aha moments in the comments. And yes, please share this video, these hashtag Saturday Love Lessons with your friends. And I'm doing this thing right now where I answer the most common questions that I get throughout the week. And on YouTube, we will have our Saturday Love Lessons and alternately we will have on Facebook, Fall in Love Friday episode. So this is your relationship coach, Eileen Santos. I hope that you, you have learned something from this. But most of all, I hope that you apply these lessons to your life so that you can create more love in your life. And before I say completely goodbye, thank you so much. So 
there's Rena. I'm glad that you were able to catch up here. It's a new platform, a new thing that we're doing. Mindset, action, and expectations. So that is what she is learning. Thank you so much, Rena. And I hope you have a good day. And going back, it's not just uh, for Rena, but everyone else, even if you're watching the replay, use what you're learning to create more love in your life. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you next week.